So this stitch gives you a very nice look with only two simple rows. So you want to start off by casting on multiples of two stitches plus one. And for row one, you're just going to knit across the whole row. So you're just going to knit every stitch for row one. Then for row two, you're going to start off with a purl one. Then you're going to begin a repeat of knit one, purl one, all the way across. Just knit one, purl one. And that's it. You just repeat rows one and two over and over again until you get the length for your project. So I really like this stitch because you can see the knit stitch here, but it's like a garter stitch in between. I think it just looks really neat together. And also this is reversible. So depending on what side you like better, you can do either or, or have a nice looking piece on both sides. This could also be used as a variation of seed stitch because it kind of looks the same. It's more more in rows than seed stitch is, but they kind of look the same and this one could be easier. But this one's considered the front and this is the back. But I really like this one and it looks really nice and I could see this as a sweater or a scarf. I think it would be really nice. So I hope you try out this stitch and like it just as much as I do. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.